Welcome everyone, Mate Talk Time. Awesome to be in front of you. Um, for those who may have missed my expedition into blind buying, have a look at this uh, link here. I, I get it. I get, I get it. Blind buying is the, um, it's the roller coaster of the fragrance community. Um, the, the sense of a, of a pure adrenaline, thrill, dopamine, and, and at all stages of the process from being, so I, I ordered from the Zerjoff website. Let me just say, the Zerjoff website is so gamified, it's just absolutely awesome. Whoever designed it is a, is a genius because the whole process, or the whole time I was there, I'm just like, I was literally having fun clicking on this and clicking on that. Uh, and uh, yeah, the dopamine hit when I hit the buy button was spectacular. Uh, and then waiting for the the arrival of the um, of the, the, the parcel and when it came, just, yeah, I get it. Blind buying is a thrill and, and a bit more. However, <laughs> not anymore. That was, it was fun doing it. Um, uh, there was a sense of, of uh, a little pang of guilt, like what am I doing? You know, there's, um, there's a slight level of insanity in, in uh, the process. Um, but I thought, you know, that, that's enough, no more of that. Um, having said that though, I had to hold myself back. If you saw in the video when I said to Sandra, I'm, I'm like, uh, so yeah, we should do this again, you know, thumbs up. <laughs> and I keep watching that again, thumbs up for a yes. And Sandra, she's not even moving, she's just holding the gimbal. The blind buying, maybe this could become a thing. I could do this like, Sandra, give me the no. Do I have a, do I have a thumbs up? I'm not getting anything. It was afterwards when I cooled down, I'm like, no mate, no more thumbs up. That's, that's, you're done. You're, uh, you had fun with it. I'm gonna go back to my old way of doing things, which is let me test, let me smell, let me experience. Um, and uh, that was a fun, it was a, it was a summer fling. That's what that was, a summer fling. I had an awesome, oh, actually, welcome to Mate Talk. My Mate, hope you have a good, an awesome drink. For those who are new, welcome. Uh, mate International, no, 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 just Mate is an international drink. Yerba Mate, uh, South Americans love to drink it. And uh, today is really just, you find a drink that you enjoy. Actually, coffee is probably a lot more popular than Mate, but anyway, you know, to us Argentinians, it means the world to us. All right, so I had a, um, I, uh, I believe he's from the UK, and that gives me some of the comments that he's been writing, gives me the impression that's the case. Jack, sir, I'm talking about you. Uh, Jack mentioned or asked me, uh, don't focus too much on the actual juice or the actual perfume itself, just the bottle. What's a cool looking bottle on your shelf? Unfortunately, I'm all about the juice uh, or the fragrance. However, the plus is that the bottles also look spectacular. And so what I'm doing, and I'm, actually I'm gonna stay with my categories that I've created, which is the uh, new recruits, the semi-pros and veterans. And only because these are different price points. And this is how I also went through when I bought these bottles, uh, these particular perfumes and uh, the sense of thrill that I got at the different levels that I was at. So very early on and semi-pro. I don't have any five-star generals, so I look forward to the five-star generals out there to make some recommendations of them, some really cool, bougie-looking bottles that you love putting or like seeing on your shelf. First one that I bought very, very early on was, uh, I love the Penhaligons. I fell in love with the Bowtie, in this way, the way, the way the, um, these bottles look. Um, awesome house, English, great history, and the fragrances are just just spectacular. I mean, as a as a new recruit, you can get uh, there's the one that I would recommend to you. Um, if you can find this one, I think this was a limited edition, but if you can find this one, just dive into it. This is brilliantly British. It has a lavender caramel sort of vibe to it. Uh, very vibrant, very barbershop, uh, but it does have this beautiful caramel. Um, this 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 streak, this wave of caramel that comes through. It's on skin, on card. It's not that great. I'll, I'll be I'll be honest. On skin, it's pure magic. It's and it's not. It's, so it's not going mind even though there is a caramel note in there. The lavender keeps it very fresh, very vibrant. Just and the scent trail on this is spectacular. The other one that I would recommend to you is um, I can't believe I forgot the name. The black rose, which is from. Alfetti. 
uh, Hal Fetty's another one. That's, Hal Fetty was my first one. I love the bow tie, but the brilliantly British one with this you know, beautiful British bow tie looks awesome on my shelf. Um, the other one that I love when I first bought it and the way it looked on my shelf was Argos. These, these bottles, I mean, these are a work of art in themselves. Uh, very Art Deco looking, I think, you know, with these very uh, soft sort of lines. But he, he's mixing, uh, Christian, who is the, uh, the perfumer and also the, the owner of the house, is mixing so many different, um, I guess, design elements to this. He has uh, like an Egyptian eye. In these days it's coming with a diamond in the, in the eye itself. And then there's a plaque. This one here is Bacio Immortale. And it's got the, uh, the Cupid with um, Cupid and some beautiful woman. Uh, if you like... If you like leather fragrances, this one here is awesome with a leather with a slight raspberry. That's the kiss, the, the raspberry note that's in there as, a, as a, um, a leather fragrance, very soft. Awesome for a new recruit. If you like leather, this is one to really look out for. And then on top of that, the bottle itself just looks stunning on your shelf. So new recruits, there too. The other one that I had to put forward is naturally my, our good friend <laughs> Naxos. Uh, this was also, when I first bought this, this is my first Zerjoff on the shelf with the gold lid and this beautiful crown, the, the, the shape of this bottle. I just remember every time I would walk into my bathroom um, and just see this bottle on the shelf, it just made me so happy. It just, it was uh, to see Naxos there or to see a Zerjoff on my shelf, I just, I felt super proud, you know, like a, like a proud dad. Uh, one that I like bottle wise is Decas, which is also part of the 1861 lineup, but I like the extra flourishes that it has with the, uh, the ribbons down the side. So I love seeing, this is another one that I love. So I like seeing the Zerjoff bottles on my shelf, but to see this, the, the, the extra flourishes on, on the Decas bottles, I don't know. There's something about it. It just, maybe it's the fact that it's, it's the, the Italian flag, essentially, you know, so anyway. So that's for new recruits. Bottle-wise, they look gorgeous, but scent-wise, they're just spectacular. For semi-pros, there's nothing more fun than seeing an armoire on your perfume cabinet or your, uh, your lineup there. Epic was one of my first ones within the armoire range, and I just love, I love seeing the green bottle stand out. This, this green is, it's almost opulent looking, especially against with the, the gold crown that it has. Uh, the Swarovski um, uh, green gem, just everything about, for me, everything about this bottle when I first got it, just screamed of bouge. It just, it just made me feel, I don't know, it just made me feel cool. <laughs> I, liked, uh, I liked seeing this bottle. And then there's the fragrance. So if you like a nice, spicy, woody fougere, then this baby here is, it's just opulent. It's just, it's very masculine, uh, very deep in its scent. It definitely is more of a semi-pro, so I don't know if, if new recruits, you would wanna jump into a, uh, an armoire just yet. If you did go into an armoire, I would recommend to you Reflection Man, also a beautiful looking bottle. Uh, not as sexy as this, I have to put it out there. It's a clear bottle, it's nice, but I just, I find that the green bottle just looks glorious on a shelf. So anyway, homage, big fan of that. Going back to, actually, let me have a drink, please. Everyone, take a pause. Let me take a drink of my mate. Going back to Penhaligon, there's nothing cooler <laughs> than having all the animals lined up. And cooler is a word. So this is, uh, and for me, out of all the animals that, uh, that I have, all the, the different um, portraits, I love the goat. I love, this is uh, in, I guess, in homage to William Penhaligon, who is the goat. Uh, and just, I just love, it just looks cool. Um, uh, as, a, as a fragrance itself, it's, a, it's an incredible vetiver. So something that it's, it's super smooth. Sometimes vetivers can be a little bit on the green side, but earthy, super smooth, almost barbershop style. But just to wear this, it, it, to say that it's a creamy vetiver is, is not the venue, but it, it is a super smooth vetiver. Um, my son-in-law also has this. And I tell you when he's also wearing it, I'm like, man, it just smells good. He, the scent trail from this fragrance. And on your shelf, 
the goat. Looks like a boss. If my son was here, he'd be saying, you don't say that anymore. To say you look like a boss is not cool. So, all right, so I apologize if I was uncool then. Um, the, the, the one that I, the, now these are, I'm, I'm, for the semi-pros, I'm leaving this one. This is the, the best in the semi-pros. I am a huge fan of Clive Christian. I really love the Clive Christian brand. And very early on, uh, I think when I crossed over from a new recruit to a semi-pro, I bought the companionship, which was 1872 and X masculine and both of them on my shelf. I remember seeing them both there with the beautiful um, crown that is in homage also to, not also, but is in homage to uh, Queen Victoria. That was, the, that was her crown that she gave permission to use. Just everything about, and, and, and even to the point where the Clive Christian logo is on the, the, the actual sprayer. If you look on the inside, there's a logo in there. Just the attention to detail on this bottle is just beautiful. And then on the back, you have this, in, not embossed, it's um, sort of in the bottle. I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, just, they just look cool. They, you know, to, just, to, just to see them on the shelf, it just made me so happy. As a companionship, so 1872, for those who are not familiar, masculine, beautiful, vibrant, spicy, aromatic. Uh, it is, it is uh, a scent for summertime. There is, it's just fantastic. It's a beautiful scent. And then X masculine, amazing, deep, rich, spicy cinnamon, awesome for winter. This is, a, as a winter fragrance, it's one of the best out there. So uh, yeah, anyway, so these two semi-pros, if you um, want something that looks bougie on or to look on your shelf, then I'd recommend to you the Clive Christians. Moving across to now the veterans. So obviously everything is about scaling dollar wise. Um, so the going into the veterans, uh, we're now going into the Swarovski crystals. Uh, so you're definitely, you're paying for the juice, but you're also paying for the, uh, the other elements to that bottle. So this is uh, Roger Dove's Elysium Parfum. And this is, I mean, Forget the, 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 the bottle itself, the fragrance, I'm telling you, there is, there is nothing, well, I shouldn't say that, it's pretty spectacular. Let me just put it out there. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to, I mean, you may have smelled the, um, the cologne, the, the, uh, it's still a, it's an eau de parfum, eau de parfum, I would say eau. I get in so much trouble from, people write in and they're like, who is this guy? And so it's or or excuse me. So the eau de parfum um, uh, is pretty special, but the parfum, forget about it. This is like something else. And so if you haven't had, had a chance to experience Elysium parfum, you need to go out and test it. And then again, putting this on your shelf, it just, it just looks bougie. It's just a cool looking, yeah, it's just a cool looking bottle. Um, and then the last one that I wanted to recommend for the, um, the veterans is uh, anything from Fragrance Dubois. I, um, I really love the level of, I mean, apart from the, the fragrance itself is just the fragrances that they have are awesome. I love Secret Tryst, by the way. Secret Tryst is one of those very subtle rose fragrance, but I'm talking very subtle, that combines so many other uh, just, I mean, like hard hitting or big hitting ingredients like frankincense and um, I think there's also myrrh in here. There's, I think there's wood. I can't remember now. I'm, I'm just going off. But I do know it has a very soft rose in here. And like the name suggests, a secret tryst, this is an intimate, seductive, very body uh, fragrance that just, it's just beautiful for intimate moments. It's just, it's a very subtle, but so many different facets to it. Anyway, glorious fragrance. And what I love, let me show you this. So apart from the bottle being just like divine on your shelf with these also Swarovski crystals there, the packaging is next level. I mean, it's a velvet box with this beautiful, um, so no, it's a suede box with a velvet interior. And I love how this bottle just snugly fits in here. Honestly, you feel like you've, you're just getting something that's just, look at it, this is glorious. I mean, uh, it's, I mean, I've always loved the, the um, 
uh, zerge of packaging, but I feel that these guys, they, they go to another level. This is, uh, yeah, it, uh, it just feels like you've got like a, I don't know, some, a prized jewel in here, which it is. It's a secret tryst, uh, the perfumes. Boom. Uh, so that's, um, so Jack, that, they're the recommendations that I would put forward to you when it comes to uh, fragrances that look, you know, for bottles that just, you know, on your shelf will look just beautiful, just really, really sexy. And then on top of that, the fragrances, all the ones that I put forward, the fragrances themselves are awesome. Let me take a drink, goodness. I want to thank everyone for your comments coming through. It's been awesome reading all the things that I've, um, that you guys are sharing. I love the, the fact that the, um, the blind buying uh, episode resonated. There was a lot of really cool comments. A lot of people going, I love blind buying. That's the only way that I do it. So again, I get it. I, I get the thrill. It's uh, it's a roller coaster and it's an awesome, awesome ride. But um, everything in moderation. Um, for me at least. You guys, knock yourselves out. Go do it. Go do it. Uh, so what I want to do now is I want to give a shout out to um, the following individual. So I started, well, let me say what it is first. Um, I started memberships on the channel uh, for those who might be interested in becoming a member and I'll tell you why you want to. Those who are interested in becoming a member, this is the process. So you can see that there's a join button here. Uh, you can jump on in. Now, what I am uh, putting together is that every month, and it'll be at the end of the month, that I will draw a name out of a hat. Currently, there are four members or four subscribers, which is, uh, no, there are four members, yeah. Uh, and so one of you guys will get your name drawn out, and I'll show you what is, um, what uh, the plan is there. But I first want to shout out to Alex. Thank you, sir, for becoming a member. I also want to shout out to Sam. Thank you, sir. Ricardo, thank you. And Megasword. <clears throat> Megasword, who is Fred. Um, I don't know why I feel like I need to do that every time I say his name. But anyway, yes, thank you to uh, you guys for, you guys in marketing terms are the early adopters. So I appreciate you jumping in, on in and becoming a member. Now, the idea behind uh, be, being a member is that every month I'm going to draw a name out of a hat and I want to find out what kind of, so the, the person who gets name, names drawn out, I want to find out what kind of fragrances you're into because I'd love to send you some samples of things that I enjoy. So one of it will be something that you, um, that is aligned to your interest, okay? And then I'm going to send you a bit of a wild card, something that I really like. Uh, something that maybe flies a little bit under the radar and uh, but still will be in, in line with the fragrance family that you are interested in. Now let me show you. So I want to point out that I will be sending you legit samples. So I won't be decanting or anything of that nature. I have a, a collection of different samples from various different companies. Um, and uh, so you've got some the big hitters here with Amouage and Zorjoff and stuff like that. Um, but there's also hidden gems. I don't know if, if you guys are familiar with the fragrance house called Luban, there's Hermetica and there's many others. Sorry, Hermetica. Uh, that, so the idea is I'll send you something that will be, I believe, aligned to what you're interested in and then I'll send you a wild card. So become a member, join. Uh, the next thing is we're been doing quite a bit of work. We're gonna, I'm gonna start doing uh, merchandise, and why not? <laughs> the first merchandise that I'm gonna be uh, rolling out is the mate holders, and you've seen these before. I actually uh, had these as part of the international mate talk. Five lucky people won these. I sent them out to them. Uh, the good news, the reason why I'm doing these two is that it makes it easy for me to send internationally. If I start sending bottles of perfume, uh, it makes it super hard. Not that I ever want to send any bottles of perfume. Um, but uh, the, uh, so the mate holders will be, easy to, now, will be easy to send out. They will also have the bombijas. Uh, the pricing, I'm still working it out because I, I actually want to include uh, international uh, postage on that rather than add it. Anyway, look, I'm, something that I'm working out. But these are the two designs. One is called um, mate talk, so uh, you can yeah, join me on <laughs> a mate talk with your mate talk um, yerba holder. Uh, and the other one is boom, mate time. There's the two. <laughs> 
spent hours thinking, what could we call these things? Uh, anyway, so they're the two that uh, we'll be retailing shortly. Uh, the, and that's it. Now, let me give you some feedback, excuse me. I've been testing the Aaron Terrence Hughes, and why am I doing this with my hands? Because currently I've got them on both hands. Um, I, I, I just resprayed them before, uh, so I've got two at the moment. I have been. I will continue to test the rest, and I'll give you my full summary. But I thought I'd give you a bit of a sneak peek as to what my thoughts are. So the first one that I started testing was Daddy, um, and I just want to put it out there that Daddy is spectacular. When I first sprayed it, uh, for me, I got a fruit note coming through, and then so I, the, the way I normally like to do is I spray. Don't look at notes. To spray, what's it doing, what's it saying, uh, uh, feel the fragrance, you know, where would I wear it, all that sort of stuff, and then I begin to unbox it afterwards. On opening, just glorious, this beautiful fruit coming through, um, it's, it, 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 I thought to myself, it's apple, I mean, I've got apple in my brain, when I, with, for those who saw Torino 22, the unboxing, I'm like, it smells like a caramel apple, so um, I'm happy to say, when I did look at the notes, yes, it has apple in it, in, the, in that opening. So it has this beautiful, almost to the point it's juicy, you can bite into this apple. Beautiful apple, it does dry down, it comes away from that. There is a, still a level of sweetness. The, the vanilla that's in there is just absolutely amazing. I found that the longevity on Daddy was just like, like, I, yeah, awesome. Um, being that it's a, and the other thing too is that I, f I found that it was a vanilla-esque fragrance. Uh, I also, there's oud in here. I'm like, whoa, this, I just had no idea. I mean, even to the point where afterwards in smelling it again and again, I'm not, it, it's just it's it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Great longevity. Uh, the Siage, actually, I won't go into more, any more than that, other than Daddy, just thanks guys for uh, putting that as one of the, um, the little heavy votes on Daddy. Awesome fragrance. On this hand, I have tobacco. Interestingly, um, I find that this one here is, so I've got tobacco in my brain and certain fragrances that I like. Believe it or not, this for me is honey. I get a honeycomb vibe out of this. When I first sprayed, and I knew it was tobacco, um, but had I blind smelt, you know, so sort of sprayed this and not known what the name is or anything like that, for me, I got a very boozy sort of opening to the fragrance. Uh, and then it went into this, uh, th this honey almost slightly animalic honey uh, sort of notes to it. If anything, it reminded me, I don't know, for, you, for those who know, I have a beehive. And one thing that I've always said whenever I open up my beehive, that there is a combination of smell, which is honey, but also bee, which is that animal component of the, the, the hive. And this, is, believe it or not, this is the beehive. It's got a earthy, animalic, um, sort of deeper tone to it, but there's also a honey component that sort of runs through it. I've only sprayed this on my hand to back. Um, I need to spray it on my body. I, I was wearing Daddy. Um, I, the, the samples is not a lot. And so Daddy had a lot more. So I actually was a little bit more liberal in spraying it on me. Tobacco is a little bit, not as much in there. And so I was being careful. Um, but yeah, but again, awesome fragrances. Both of them, I'm like, I, we just got to do something, Australia, to get uh, the uh, the Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances here. So I'm looking forward to testing out the rest. Um, I've heard some more comments from subscribers saying that Maverick is awesome. So I, I am looking forward to testing out Maverick. I will do a full summary. So I'll break it down. And I'm even going to give you the ones that that's, I'll give you like my top five out of the five in. I'll rank them uh, for you guys just to see. Well, just to give you my my view on them all. Butter bing, that's it. I got nothing more to tell you other than thank you for joining me on Mate Talk, and we'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye, everyone.